All right, you're going to want to hear this. Google has just dropped what is, no exaggeration, a bombshell in the world of computing. They've pulled the curtain back on a new quantum chip called Willow. And folks, this isn't just another small step forward. This is a giant, reality-bending leap. So to really wrap our heads around just how big of a deal this is, we've got to talk about speed. I mean, for decades, we've been pushing classical computers to their absolute limits, building these city-sized supercomputers. But Willow? Willow isn't just pushing the limits. It's on a completely different planet. So what kind of speed are we actually talking about? Well, get a load of this number. Willow is 13,000 times faster than the world's most powerful, most advanced supercomputer. Not 13 times, 13,000. It's almost hard to comprehend. And this right here puts that number into a perspective that is just mind-boggling. To complete one very specific, very complex task, the fastest supercomputer we have on Earth would need, and I'm not making this up, 10 septillion years. Willow did it in five minutes. Just let that sink in for a second. That's not just an improvement. It's a fundamental change in what's possible. So you're probably asking, how is that even possible? And to get that, we have to peel back a layer and look at the science. The magic isn't just about making things faster. It's about making them think in a completely different way. It's time to leave the familiar world of bits and enter the weird, wonderful world of qubits. Right, so think about every single computer you've ever touched. Your phone, your laptop, even the most powerful servers. They all speak the same simple language. It's based on bits, which are just tiny switches that can be either off or on, a zero or a one. That's it. This binary system has gotten us incredibly far, but it has its limits. And this, this is where the rules of the game change entirely. A quantum bit, or a qubit, isn't stuck with just one choice. Thanks to a wild property of quantum mechanics called superposition, a qubit can be a zero and a one at the exact same time. It's like a spinning coin. And that ability to hold multiple possibilities at once is the secret to their incredible power. Okay, so let's zoom in on the Willow chip itself. Because the truly revolutionary part of this story isn't just that Google crammed more power in, it's that they made the chips smarter. And that, my friends, might be the real game changer here. So here's a quick look under the hood. Willow is a 105 qubit processor. It uses these things called transmon qubits, which are basically tiny circuits made from superconducting material. And to get them to work, you have to cool them down to temperatures colder than the deepest parts of outer space. We're talking just a fraction of a degree above absolute zero. It's incredibly delicate, high-stakes engineering. Now, this right here, this is the part that should make your brain do a little backflip. Normally, in any computer system, the bigger and more complex you make it, the more errors you get. It's just a rule. But with Willow, the exact opposite happened. When they gave it a bigger problem to solve, it actually made fewer mistakes. That's unheard of. And this incredible feat has a name, Below Threshold Quantum Error Correction. What that really means in plain English is that the chip gets better at fixing its own goofs as the workload increases. That stability, that's been the holy grail for building quantum computers that are actually reliable and useful. So what was this super special task that Willow was performing? It was running a highly specialized program called the Quantum Echoes Algorithm. You can think of this as the secret sauce, the one perfect recipe that unlocks the chip's unbelievable speed for a certain type of problem. The best way to picture how this algorithm works is to imagine shouting into a grand canyon. Step one, the algorithm creates a shout, a little quantum disturbance in the system. Step two, it listens for the echoes, measuring how that ripple bounces around through all the quantum particles. And then, the most crucial part, it can actually verify the results to make sure the answer it got is correct. Okay, so we've got this amazingly fast, unbelievably smart chip that's really good at one specific complex thing. But so what? Why does this actually matter to you and me? Let's connect the dots from this abstract power to the real world. And that's the multi-trillion dollar question, isn't it? What do you actually do with a machine that can solve a problem in five minutes that would take our best current technology literally longer than the age of the universe? What doors does this unlock? First, a really important reality check. This breakthrough isn't going to make your Netflix load faster or your video games run smoother. 
Willow's power is hyper-specialized. It's designed to simulate the universe at its most fundamental level, how quantum particles interact. And that's something classical computers are just plain terrible at. But that one special skill is the key to basically everything. Being able to perfectly simulate quantum interactions could let us design new life-saving drugs, atom by atom. We could create hyper-efficient batteries that revolutionize energy storage. We could build brand new materials that we can't even imagine yet, or even train AI models in a completely novel way. We're talking about solving some of humanity's biggest challenges. So what we're really witnessing here isn't just a new, faster chip. It's a historic moment. We're standing right at the dawn of an entirely new era of computation. And this era has a name, quantum advantage. Now, you might have heard the term quantum supremacy a few years back. That was just about being faster. Quantum advantage is the real prize. It means you're not only faster, but you can also prove that your answer is correct and trustworthy. Because a fast answer that might be wrong is just a fast guess. This is a fast truth. And you can see the journey right here. It started back in 2019 with a Sycamore chip, which first proved a quantum computer could outperform a classical one. Now, with Willow, we have that verifiable speed advantage. So what's next? The next great mountain to climb is creating what are called logical qubits, super stable, error-proof qubits that can run long enough to solve those huge real-world problems we just talked about. You know, as we're all trying to wrap our heads around the incredible explosion in artificial intelligence, it's becoming pretty clear what the next great frontier is. We're moving from AI towards something you could call quantum intelligence, a future where these two technologies merge to solve problems that are currently beyond the scope of human imagination. And that really is what this all boils down to. We are standing on the brink of having a tool with almost limitless power. The conversation is shifting from if we can solve impossible problems to a much more interesting one. Which impossible problem should we solve first? Now that is something worth thinking about.